it's got more six plates. We've got here the latest batch of stuff that's come from cutting and heat treat. Thereby, everything's, oh, you don't make it with my hand. Okay, Pucos. What I've had done, CAD cam wise, is slightly thickened up the section there. Slightly. So there's just a little bit more meat that allows me to keep a slightly thicker handle. Does that make sense? Alright. Get the length the same, full length or ever so slightly shorter version of the Puko. So the Puko 52100 is the carbon steel I use. I don't use 01. Give it a choice, I'd rather have 52100 for all the reasons. 52100, in my opinion, and a few others is better than 01. So Puko, slightly strengthened in the handle section. Same again, my Merlins, which allows me different profiles, so the Galahad, Lancelot, the um, UK safety end is it's just so the laser doesn't do anything untoward at the tip when it gets really narrow. Again, slightly thickened up in the handle section to allow me to keep a little bit more than the handle end. So 52100 again on the Merlins. Thainlaw Boudicca Thainlaw. Slightly reprofiled the handle. Again, we have a look there. Compared with last time, this is now skeletonized. It will allow for a lighter blade, despite however light mine are. This is not a chopping blade, it's not a hefty blade, this is something you've got to wear on your belt. So, I've gone for skeletonization, and rather than holes, I've gone for an organized mathematically equidistant form of skeletonization. The handle allows me to do three different profiles or more uh, in terms of the pommel end. Square ended, so I'm still doing all the same skill base of people who cut it all out by hand by bandsaw and grinder. I'm still doing it because it's got a square end so I can make blades but from square ends. Dangles are slightly thicker which means all I've got to do is just surface grind it to get to get to the four mil or you got a kick-ass one in, in terms of more happening at that end so Daniels allowed me a little bit more Jackals this is my survivor blade okay chipping on top skeletonization again slightly increase the girth of the handle and this is in 5.2. So there's my survivor blade. A definite yes on the handle. He who will valiant be. Mr. Pilgrim is now in 4.7 mil carbon steel, my 52100. Skeletonized, but not overdone. It's just a few sections in there, about the same as having a load of holes kept a lot of meat at this end it's just a, um, another reason why I like having skeletonization is through gluing joining the uh, the scales from one side through and to the other side uh, there's still a load of work dremeling all this out in order to decarburize it and give a key to the epoxy skimming out the holes on the inside again bonding for pins so there's still plenty of stuff going on here I can always lose the um, the top one there for a slightly different profile if someone wasn't interested in the flare this short of pommel at the shape there but 4.7 mil already I can feel there's a difference there compared with the previous ones at 4 4.7 mil mm. so that's a, a little insight as to why I had a bit of a tinker with the CAD cam uh, thanks to Duncan for all the patience of me uh, with all the tweaks that I've done. Things coming up in future, uh, fire steel strikers that I've had on the go design wise since before Christmas. Um, in the next few weeks I should be able to get those arriving or turned up on the scene. Um, I'm looking at different variants of the steel on things. And uh, just looking forward to orders, orders, orders. Uh, so Scott Wessex blades out, checking thicknesses. And they're going to spray three and one all over these things. Because I've had to give them a really nice wash off 
from obviously the, the, the treatment that gets done with the bainite is quite high in sodium uh, so they're all completely purged of all the the NA uh, nice coat of oil and then they'll be just ready to pick up and go as as and when a very shrewd way of doing production um, the only uh, you know the only thing that's against it is, is the capital outlay in order to get a batch as a lump so I wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't get orders so thanks again for joining me and your support Scott from Wessex Blades let's get some oil on these things and all see you in the next video and big thanks to Duncan he's passed on his mini electric cooker grill thing temperature already preset for me for Kydex which will allow me to do small stock so like Merlin size Kydex pieces in here rather than the wasteful two kilowatt hibachi grill that I've got which is more for go locks so thanks Duncan that's gonna save me a few pennies on electric and make it all in nice and convenient for me and uh, a little bit of a step forward for Wessex blades courtesy of Dorset Woodland Blades.